Last time on my Let's Play of France in Brave New World. So yeah, we're probably gonna go to war. Um, they're growing for some reason towards us when they have all this fucking land right there. So they're being fucking douchebags. I hate Polynesia. I, I, I don't know why they're always douchebags whenever I play this game. Fuck the Polynesians. Um, I take that back. That sounds really racist. I'm so sorry. Uh-oh. Here we go. Where are the Zulu at? I really want to know where the Zulu's at. Um, yes, let's go ahead and work together. We'll kind of form a huge alliance. Um, yeah, I need to find out where the Zulu's at. I'm going to go ahead and ask them. What am I doing? Ask them where their embassy is. I'm very interested to see. If they're next to Japan, that's going to make a pretty interesting combo. Nope, they're not. Oh, wow. They're kind of next to us. That's great. Who do we not have? Uh, Poland. Poland. We need to get. We need to get cool with Poland. We're friends. I don't know why we haven't talked about embassies yet. Okay. Boom. 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 I didn't even realize this. I'm looking at my TV. My TV's on right now. I'm fucking watching Xena the Warrior Princess. I'm playing Civilization V and I'm watching fucking Xena the Warrior Princess. It doesn't even get. It doesn't get better than that. It is a. That's an awesome fucking combo. Xena the Warrior Princess. And Civilization V. Hail no. Hail no. Man, I will probably maybe convince, depending on where, how close they get, maybe try to convince the Zulu to attack Polynesia. But we're definitely going to war soon, and that's not good because my warmonger uh, traits are still kind of up. Oh, okay, well, that's not having an effect anymore. So that's good. But it, it, I thought it would. Um, we need to get this. We need to get that because we need to go ahead and grab those fucking crabs. Alright. And it'd also be nice for that scout to get those runes. Uh oh. Alright, they're far away. We don't need to worry about that. Um, okay, so we finished. So we're going to go ahead and try to get us unhappy. Un unhappy. Oh, so that's why. I just said, I was just complaining why it wasn't growing as fast as I wanted it to. Because we are unhappy. Let's go ahead and move him here and try to get those ruins. Um, Polynesia. Ooh, they got Desert Folklore. That's that's a really good pick for them. Because they're going to get all that faith. Oh, man. That's going to be good. Ah. Oh. So I'd like to pick up these two cities. Maybe burn one of them to the ground. Um, which needs to be more of a diplomacy hit. I'm not sure if they actually... Wow. I'm not sure if they actually did change that about Civ Five. From the expansion, but I feel like burning a city to the ground needs to have a pretty big diplomacy impact. Uh, I mean, it's better than, I don't know, I feel like, oh wow, nice, 15 gold, 15 gold. Also, what does it take to be happy with them? What do they want? They want science, which we're not going to win that. They want sugar, and they want us to invade at a barbarian encampment. Uh, what about these guys? Huh. Well, we don't have any sugar. We have salt. They're going to pick up the salt right there. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going... I think I'm going to go ahead and build Stonehenge. <coughs> um, yeah. There's really nothing else that I'd... Hmm, one free technology, free library in the city that is built. We already have that. Uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and go with the extra faith. Let's go ahead and try to grab this. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure if that's worth it. In these later difficulties, um, it's not necessarily worth it to to go ahead and grab something like that. I think I will go with another settler, though. I think that is a good idea. I need to be careful on growing very quickly because that will bite me in the ass. All right, so manufactured goods. We're doing pretty good with manufactured goods. We need to keep an eye out on our... Uh, on our libraries and our science because we need to build that national college as soon as we can. Um, I hope, I think, okay, so they should be done with this by the time that settler's out. And, um, and we should be, yeah, we'll have sailing in two turns so we'll be able to kind of build slash buy one of these, get our science up. Oh, man, they, or get our happiness up. I'm so sorry. Um, do I want to continue them to go this way? Yeah, I guess might as well. 
Oh, there's so many freaking barbarians around here. So yeah, I think it's safe to say that we are on a Pangea map. Um, <coughs> and I, I believe we're going to have to... I don't know. I mean, the only real threat we're going to have is Polynesia. And uh, I think I'll be able to take a few of their cities eventually. But uh, the issue that we're going to have is I don't want to destroy them off the earth. Um, so I don't really know. Oh, great, great. That's great. Okay, so I should probably send someone that way soon to take out those barbarians. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to send him back up here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and have them run for their lives and kind of go this way. I should probably discover what's down here a little bit more, but hmm, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'll probably plant my next city right Somewhere over there. <coughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh man. Oh, come on, buddy. Nice. Oh, son of a bitch. Are you serious? That is fucking bullshit. Uh, well, I'm gonna take these guys out out of my, out of anger. Just freaking rape them with your spear. Um, let's go and do visibility. Oh, there we go. Okay, so they're gonna, I think they're gonna be able to, son of a gun. This isn't good. Uh, looks like we might be dead. Looks like these guys are dead. There's really nothing I can do to protect them. Yeah, I think they're dead. And the great library has been built. Alright. Yep, let's go ahead and get archery. That'll be a good defensive unit. As soon as Polynesia does attack us, because I know they're going to get pissed off very soon. I don't know why they're growing my way. They've got all this territory over here. I really hope that these guys are almost done with that. Yep, okay, so they're dead. <coughs> That's that is very bad. That is unfortunate, because we pretty much wasted, even though I bought them, I wasted like 140 for that shit. Um, let's go ahead and check out Zulu, see what they got going on. Yo, what up, girl? Yo, girl? 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 What you doing? Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Who you finna try? Who you finna try? Who you finna try? Who you finna try? Hey. Okay, so we need to build another trade route. We also need to get a little bit more gold, actually. I don't think we're doing too bad for being um, playing on Emperor. I think we're actually doing pretty good. Um, we're about to settle our third city on turn 55. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good start. Um, I think the only thing is the science, and that, that'll, that'll come with time. I need to bring back my these guys. Hopefully they're almost done, and I'd like to try to purchase a work boat, but I don't have the money. 240. Do I have anything to sell? Not really. Horses. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to try to get that out. Um, who am I friends with? Okay, so four horses. What do you want for this? Oh, nice. Uh, do I want to give them that many horses though? No, I, I'll give them three. I don't need that much. Pose. What do you want for this? Huh. <laughs> See, we have 120, so this should give us enough money. So, yes, I'm going to go ahead and give them that. And we're going to go ahead and purchase our work boat. And then what we will build is a... I think we'll go ahead and try to build... I don't know. I think I should build another cavern to get. Yeah, let's go ahead and build another one of those. There's really no point in me building one of those uh, sea trade routes because obviously I can only trade with them over here. It can be kind of a waste. All right. All right. So this should definitely. It looks like yes. So we did finally get marble, and uh, we're about to get these crabs. <laughs> oh man, you don't hear that very often. We're about to get these crabs. Not necessarily a good thing ever, boys and girls, ever. 
Uh, crabs are not, that's not a joke. Okay. Um. Ooh, it looks like uh, Portugal and the Zulu are going to have some issues. Definitely going to have some issues very soon. Shoshone. All right. So, yes, we are on a Pangea map. Um, I'd like to see where they're at. So, please, Shoshone, grant me your embassy. Boom. Boom, boom. Also, what the hell you got? What you got, man? Uh-oh. Who does? That deal will work. All right. Looks like we're going to be pretty crammed in here. A lot of these sieves are real close by. I like that. I don't like having a shitload of extra room for no damn reason. I actually hate that. Um, because then no wars happen until, like, you know, fucking, like, 400 turns into the game. Which, uh, by the way, I don't know if anyone else has noticed that, but, uh, yeah, there's definitely an issue with that. Uh, I've noticed that in Brave New World... Not very many wars um, are happening in the beginning of the game, which is really strange. Uh, I don't know if I like that. All right. Um, it usually takes about 100 turns to get into war with some of this shit. All right. Um, don't really need to worry about iron. People don't need to worry about iron as much because, you know, these, these swordsmen really aren't that powerful. I mean... You get pikemen, 16, and that's even stronger. The problem with pikemen, though, are that they freaking upgraded lancers. And that shit sucks. Ask anybody. Oh, it's, lancers are one of the t most terrible units in the game. I don't... Oh, God, it's so bad. I don't know why. Why are they even there? I don't know. I was actually hoping to... Oh, look, nice. Our happiness is up to 7, so we should be growing like a ton now all right so now we'll go ahead and put him here move him here they desire salt they're not going to get that shit and we're about to grow all right so this is going to be really good with oh man there's just so many resources look at that boom got that extra production from our pathion and they have grown we're about to grow another time and what are they doing here is that worth it? They're going to grow in 12 turns or 24. Ooh. Um, yeah, I think that's okay uh, because finish the granary. What, what if we just do this? Not worth it. Yeah, not worth it. Yeah, they're, they're fine. Yeah, like I said, this game's usually right about the citizen management. You just have to be kind of careful, especially on the, like, the, the more difficult difficulties. You got to be very careful. Most of the time, uh, most of the time, uh, there's a small, slightly better advantage. Uh, you don't want to waste time, especially on deity and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I think this will be a pretty nice city right here. We'll get those pearls, be able to get those fish, get those horses, get this. The only problem is there's no really good luxuries over here. Maybe I'll kind of explore a little bit more. I, I'm okay with kind of pushing them over. We kind of, this is the good thing right here is we are virtually safe because we have a wall, kind of a wall. And uh, the AI is not good at moving through things like this. So uh, this side is pretty much safe. Um, the problem is obviously we don't really have any more room to expand over here. So we're kind of forced to kind of move outward like this. Um, I think I'd rather build it here hmm uh, I don't know I don't know We're gonna, this is interesting um toga yeah I, th I don't think yeah I think that'll be safe get two extra science for now or I can go there for gold but yeah no this is way more worth it I get science also <coughs> the problem with what I'm doing is eventually when we go to war it's gonna be a big problem oh should I should I go ahead and try to get this out? I think I should. I, I, I think I should, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and get a lumber mill, maybe. Oh, oh, the choices. I should probably get this lighthouse, actually. That's going to be a super, super nice. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to get this lighthouse. 
I think that's the right. Yeah, I think that that'll be a good choice. Um, I, I don't know. Obviously, in Civ Vanilla, you kind of wanted to rush towards iron, but I've kind of—I don't know. Iron's really not that as important as it used as it used to be. Um, I, I, you know, I will admit that I liked when iron was more important, but uh, yeah, it's just not—it's not as important as it used to be. Um, again, not super happy with the position of the city. It's gonna have to do for now. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's just we don't really have another choice. Let's go ahead and build this shrine first. They'll be growing in five turns. Wow, what the hell happened? We had seven science, we now have, or we had, we had seven happiness, we have one now. Um, hmm. Should they build a workboat? Not sure exactly. Um, hmm. I will get these guys a shrine. Ooh. Workboat in 16 turns. Yeah, you know what? That's not, that's not, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> that's not, that's not, that's not. Um, yeah, I'm not okay with that. Uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, let's go ahead and get the demographics out. So we're, we're making the most money. That's good. And our science is definitely caught up. Okay, so we're actually not doing too bad at all, really. Um, but we need to watch out for our happiness. We probably should have rushed the Coliseum instead. Um, but... What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Um, yeah, we need to get him down here and get these gems very quickly. All right. I also I also should begin to start buying more units. I, I like that we're rich. We're not rich, but we're producing so much money because uh, I, I want to be able to just kind of purchase my units when they go to war with us, so that I don't have to kind of have them just kind of standing around while. Why do I have another policy? Oh, oh, because I settled that city. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, yes, that would be a very good thing to have now. All right. So we're already seeing the benefits of liberty, definitely. Very happy I went down this this policy tree. Um, and what do I want to do with them now? It's going to be very interesting to see how the Zulu and uh, the Portuguese respond to each other. I'll bet you anything that the Zulu will attack them. Uh, the cool thing about the Zulu, though, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, they are unbelievably a... They're so freaking loyal. They're so freaking loyal, and it's amazing. I love it. Um, I think I will also send them here to this city as well. Boom. Boom. Maybe we should build a road. Who knows? <coughs> yeah. Um, let me see here. Singapore, okay. All right, so we'll kind of go ahead and explore a little bit over here and see what the Shoshone are doing. They are probably number one in almost everything right now. Are they? I didn't really get to kind of check. Uh, because they start off with so many great, what the hell's wrong with me? Um, start off with so many freaking awesome, awesome beginning. Yeah, look at that. They're number one in like four different areas. They're unbelievably amazing in the early game. I mean, they, they start off with such a, oh man, such an OP sieve to start off with. Uh, but uh, towards the end, they definitely will get caught. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with where we're at at the moment. Um, I'll go ahead and build these gems. I kind of feel like I should build this road, but at the same time, it's not that important. I'll build the road later. I kind of don't want to waste my money on it now. Not until I get that policy. I think it's like a plus happiness for every city connected to your capital. Hmm. I think ob the obvious route is to ex continue to expand this way. Um, so one more turn, one more turn. Okay, so we're about to be unhappy in the next turn. <coughs> Which isn't good. Clearly, it's not good. I want the religion though because uh, yeah, I get that. Need to get that. Uh, I I can't remember. I think it's a cathedral. I I I don't really remember, but um, I need to get that because they get those awesome freaking um, buildings. They give you like plus happiness, plus culture, plus faith. It's so useful. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right, so yes, now we are unhappy. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab. The Coliseum very soon in six turns. Okay, cool. Um, 
I guess let's explore. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, so Portugal is expanding that way. Looks like we've discovered that. And all right, eight turns. And we'll go ahead and do this. So what are they doing right now? We don't have the gold yet. Okay, um, yes, definitely. Boom. Honolulu. We're definitely making a lot of gold, and I think that's why our GNP is up uh, compared to the rest of the world, is because we have trade routes to other civs because they're so close, which is a good thing and a bad thing, obviously, uh, when it comes to Polynesia. And you know what? We should actually need to... So they are friendly with us. Doesn't look like they'll backstab us. Um, obviously, the good thing is you get those awesome uh, trade bonuses from the start, but you have to be careful because if you go into a war, your economy goes in the shitter. So, uh, yeah, you gotta be super careful about that. Oh my god, how many cities do they have? I'm hope. Wow. Wow. That's, that's, that's nice. That is very nice. Their second city is at six. Population six. Wow, okay. Well, hopefully we'll be able to build Stonehenge. That's all I'm hoping for. Um, I should probably focus our... What happens if we do this? Uh, I'll give my computer a second. Um, it does... It does nothing. Alright, well, it does nothing. There you go. So, there's really nothing that... No benefit in doing that at all. Wow, there's a lot of land extra here. A lot of extra land for us to grow. Here, that's nice. Alright. Well, let's just pray to the gods of France that uh, we do not get uh, our Stonehenge taken from us because plus five faith is going to be so beautiful in the very beginning. Nice, nice, nice. So they're in awe of us. Really? Our scientists are producing? Really? Maze that you're... S I, I guess we're scientific. I, I think it's coming from most of the trade routes, but uh, mostly the trade routes. But uh, wow, it's very... Oh wow, I'm I'm very I'm very surprised. Uh, I, I I do definitely want to be friends with them. What else are they asking for? They want sugar. Well, maybe we'll be able to connect that for them. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and build. Yeah, let's go ahead and have them. Mm, do we want culture? Is that really that important? Yeah, I think the I think the work boat is more important right now than whatever the two culture or whatever. <coughs> Hmm. So this is a pretty awesome map. I'm very happy with this generation. Uh, the computer, the way the computer generated this map, um, it's gonna be really exciting. This looks like a pretty exciting episode. Pretty, I mean, a pretty exciting series. Um, looks like there's gonna be a lot of war, definitely. Wow, they have three cities. Holy shit! The Shoshone are gonna be kicking ass. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, Shoshone are going to be destroying people. Oh, nice. Oh, that's great. Uh, so I believe that doubles all their military units. Um, I think that's it. Let's check. Oh, man, we can't check yet. <coughs> um, yeah, that's not going to give me... Oh, here we go. And soldiers. No, the Zulu have the most soldiers. And we have the worst, which is obvious. I mean, that's... Uh, that's not a surprise. Oh, Rome, nice. Wow. We are going to be completely surrounded in this. Uh, completely, completely surrounded. Huh. Well, that's great. I, I, I just love that. I love being surrounded uh, by rapists. Um, because Rome is going to be a dick. I can. There we go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. That is... That's really good to have. Okay, so, boom. We got that. We should be able to get... We will probably have... We'll probably have a religion first. Knock on wood. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Um, <coughs> yeah, and let's go ahead and build that. Get the happiness up since it's for free. And I think I'm going to go ahead and stop it there, guys. After I pick my next science. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this. Try to get iron out. <coughs> And uh, we'll go ahead and continue exploring our map in the part three of 
my Let's Play, and let's check out this. What's going on with Rome here? Boom. Alright, so as you can see, we are going to be surrounded. This is going to be a really interesting playthrough. Um, so I just hope I can make it. I'm on Emperor difficulty, and we're going for a cultural victory. So yeah, we will see, and uh, tune in next time, and uh, please click the annotation for the next video.